Hello everyone, welcome to the wellness series. Last episode, it was more like an introduction to the series on uh, naturopathy and yoga. From now on, we'll be focusing on uh, specific and common issues all of us face in our day-to-day life. And of course, get expert advice from and tips from Dr. Kitana and uh, Pranj. I've been having this like, you know, neck and shoulder pain. And I did not realize that... Uh, like why I was having this pain because I mean, maybe did I sleep in a funny position or I wasn't even sure. Later, I came to know from my doctor because I had to go, it, it went to a point like I had to seek a con- consultation. So when I went to the doctor and uh, he said like because of over usage of computer and constantly bending down and typing like this or using the phone and you know, doing this action. So what do you guys have to say about this? So I get yeah. this complaint a lot from a lot of my students. This is, I think, the most common one. And I don't even want to say I get this complaint a lot from my students. I had this same problem myself, you know. Oh. I, yeah, so uh, <laughs> like I said, I'm taking all my yoga classes online. So I have a laptop in front of me. So it's a screen right in front of me. And I am sitting maybe on the floor or maybe on a chair and I'm looking at the laptop. Sometimes I get so involved with, you know, looking at a person in front of me that I go this way and I stay that way. And that causes that pain in the neck. And it's it's bad. I mean, I did not realize it at first, even, you know, practicing yoga for a long time. I still did not become aware of it that easily. You have to sort of correct yourself so that's an interesting and common complaint nowadays i guess feel you know every uh, complaint or every disease is to tell us teach us something that we are not fine so when we get a neck pain we uh, now as you said with the gadgets and all the first thing what we have to as pranjal also was telling uh, is to become more conscious of our own self so just look inside so every time, you see, when she was uh, more into the uh, uh, teaching uh, line, she just forgot herself. She was seeing how the patient was, I mean, the uh, trainer, student was and just looking into them, she forgot her neck. So what yoga says is just be conscious of how you are, how you sit, how you breathe, how you, uh, you know, talk, everything. Just be conscious. So, and also, I've heard uh, that um, stress also causes neck pain. Uh, you know, uh, all the disease has an emotional root also. So mm. even before it is manifesting on your neck, uh, it, it will have its energies uh, changed. The, once the energy pattern changes, your mind starts to think differently. And once your mind starts to think in a different way, you start hurting certain areas of your body. So um, when you have a neck pain, do you know the reasons behind a neck pain? Yeah, of course, the posture is equally important. If you have not overused uh, your neck on a bad posture, then the other reason could be the stress. So when you Mm. talk about uh, neck, uh, neck is an organ, uh, a part of your body where uh, it uh, indicates so much of flexibility. You are able to see what is behind you, right? With the neck, we we do only this. So neck is a part of your body which is very flexible and it is something which tells you to see behind what is happening or whatever it is to look back. But when uh, in our mindset, when we are not able to look back, when we are not able to you know, be flexible, when there is uh, more of stubbornness coming in, then this causes a stiffness in the neck. Because this pattern of uh, emotion affects certain energy channels in your body, which, which are passed through the neck, so the neck becomes weak. Same way when we worry. Worry is another emotion which causes uh, neck pain. So when uh, someone is so worried, maybe even for small thing they keep worrying, then they will slowly develop a neck issue. Um, you know, uh, it is one uh, emotion which affects the neck. So if you can change these emotions, how do you change emotions? So there comes... Very difficult. Very, very difficult. <laughs> so there comes the yoga which can help you beautifully to change uh, the emotions. And uh, uh, yoga will be aligned with acupuncture here. 
say for example when you have a neck pain your spleen channel according to acupuncture will be weak your small intestine channel according to acupuncture will be weak just strengthening these channels through yoga will help you but pranjal in your experience have you come across anyone with the stress and then with the neck pain and shoulder pain and all that definitely definitely so many people they complain of shoulder pain or neck pain and i ask them have you been on the laptop a lot or have you been sitting like this a lot and they're like no i've i've not been doing that maybe some of them are just housewives and they're working around you know the house a lot they do a lot of stuff so they don't get time to sort of you know sit down this way to slouch or anything so then what can be causing that neck pain is like kirtana said a lot of stress you have to do this you have to do that around the house and all of this causes stress on your brain and to me it seems like the first part uh, that is very very connected to your brain directly to your mind directly is your neck and your shoulders which is like you know right under it and that's what first physically the stress manifests first in that way is what i think and uh, the moment i ask them to make a few changes like just you know trying to pull the shoulders back or trying to work on the neck a little bit just moving the neck around a little bit that reduces the neck pain quite a lot okay coming to the specific question like pranjal like both of you can answer this question so what are the yoga poses that really helps with the the neck and shoulder pain so very very simple and easy thing that you can do for neck pain is just move it around a little just maybe from side to side maybe just do an up and down movement it's going to help release those muscles those tightened up muscles in the neck and the shoulders if you just move your shoulders just do this it's going to help relieve the shoulders and the upper back so all these parts since they are connected to each other so intimately just doing a little bit of movement for all of them is going to help as a complete uh, sort of package for the neck and shoulders so i would suggest just do this whenever you can if you realize uh, like i suggest for some of my clients i just ask them to put a timer and if you're working uh, on your laptop for a very very long time just put a timer for an hour or half an hour and which will remind you that okay move your neck a little bit move your shoulders a little bit so sort of incorporating these sm- very small movements very small uh, sort of things in your daily life is going to help you quite a lot hmm so kitra do you yes. um, advise anything specific uh, poses or anything specific in your uh, course of treatment yes uh, also along with uh, as prandil uh, was telling us a little bit of neck and shoulder exercises and along with that um wood chopping pose the actual name is kashta takshasana even that helps in actually releasing uh, all the stress on your upper back shoulders and your neck and if you practice it for the, those who are not having a neck pain also it is it is a preventive one to strengthen your neck second pose is dvikonasana again this pose helps in strengthening your small intestine channel which is a fire channel which will help you to relax the stiffness of the neck and uh, the uh, you know uh, uh, when your people will say they are not able to turn the neck move it up so such complaints can be avoided if you practice uh, dvikonasana and um, bhujangasana also helps in strengthening your spleen channel so once your spleen channel is getting better the worry pattern of a person uh, he gets improved on that level so it is uh, to make a change on his mental setup okay i want to say something very very important here uh, ketana is a doctor like practicing doctor pranjal is a yoga practitioner and teacher they have lot of experience they are giving us tips and uh, uh their advice expert advice but please follow all these things whatever uh, we are going to be suggesting we are offering here but if you are not getting all right i think it's a good idea to consult your doctor so i think that's very very important right yes i also i would like to add here is that if you're practicing any sorts of yoga poses and you haven't done them ever before i would suggest not just to watch a video and just go to a class uh, like we do in my yoga teacher we have live interaction with the students where we can correct the students if they are going wrong even if you mm-hmm. have neck pain uh, and you do some of these poses in the wrong manner it can uh, cause you more neck pain and it will 
cause you more pain uh, in the long run. So it is always better to have someone who has a little bit of experience to be supervising you, um, someone who is actually there with you or who is online watching you while you're performing the poses.